We've let the G185 stabilize for at least 30 minutes. We are ready to do the second series of uh, measurements on our zones. We start out in zone one, which is compartment five and 10, uh, as we did the first time. So we place the sensor there. And then we wait until the, the temperature has stabilized. Um, then we write down the value on the magnetic lid again. And then we repeat the process of the zone two, three, four, and five, just like we did the first time. Now we have our second series of measurements on the zones. Um, and we will now adjust the tune values like we did before uh, inside the, the menu on the G185. So first, uh, I enter the menu. And then I scroll down to the first tune, tune one. And uh, on, on the zone one, compartment five and 10, we have a measurement of 37.38. So we adjust the value to 37.4. Uh, then we scroll down to tune two, and we have a measurement there of 37.41. So we need to adjust it down, that one. Tune three, we have Measurement of 37.45, like that. And then tune four, we adjust to 37.48, so 37.5. And then uh, tune five, 37.42, so that's will be 37.4. So now we've finished Adjust in the tune values, exit the menu to let the, menu, let the, the value store. Um, so now we leave the incubator to stabilize again. We're going to do a third iteration of the measurements to make sure that we've achieved the desired result. Uh, this is just making sure. We might do some small adjustments, but in, it should be sufficient just to, to do the measurements. But we'll try and uh, do all the measurements like we did before. If all the measurements taken were okay, we could uh, jump now to step 14. But uh, here we have a slight, it's um, 37.18 in, in zone 5, 37.07 in zone 4, 37.18 in zone 3, zone 2 is 37.09, zone 1 is 37.07. So I would adjust just a bit here. So we, we can do some fine tuning now. So we enter the menu again. And we scroll down and the tune one here first. And then we can just, if, as it's 0 0.7, we just press once on the up. So that's, uh, I increase it then by 0 0.05. So that should be sufficient. And I scroll down to tune two. That's 0 0.9, so uh, I'll give that two presses. And then 0. Zone 3, tune 3, is 37.18, so that's going to be 4. And then tune 4 is 37.07, so uh, I'll give that just 1. And then tune 5, 37.18, so again 4. And then I exit the menu to store the values. Now we can let it stabilize, and now it should be fully uh, calibrated. Of course, we need to do a fourth uh, measurement iteration of the measurements to make absolutely certain. We finished uh, calibrating the zones uh, 1 to 5, and we've got some acceptable values. So it's 37.0, or near 37.0 in all of them. Within one zone, we need to make sure that the upper compartment and the lower compartment is about the same temperature. So we do a measurement on the lower, Compartments now, same way as the top compartments, close it and make sure it stabilizes. Now we've mapped out the temperatures on the lower compartments and everything seems okay except maybe with the zone 1 where we have 37.13 here. Since we cannot adjust the temperature individually inside one zone, we need to make an average here. So. As uh, compartment 5 is 37.02 and uh, compartment 10 is 
we add them together and divide by two, so we get the average, which is 37.075. And then we go into the menu again, and then we adjust tune one to 37.1, like that. So now we get the best average of that zone. We've uh, calibrated the unit completely for zone uh, 1 to 5 uh, and made sure that the lower compartments is uh, at an acceptable temperature. We now need to move on to calibrate zone 6. Zone 6 we calibrate by placing the sensor inside it. And then we close it. And then we wait until uh, the temperature has stabilized and we write down the measurement on the magnetic pad uh, as we did before. We have a value of 37.15, so we again go into the menu and we find tune 6. And then we adjust it like that. And we exit the menu. So now we need to make sure that, give it some time to stabilize and make sure that the, the calibration that we've done is, is acceptable. Cool. It turned out the value was 37.05 after the calibration, so this is acceptable, I think. So um, now step 16, which is uh, that we're done. I hope that you've enjoyed uh, calibrating temperature uh, on the G185 with us. If you have any questions, uh, always feel free to contact our distributors or K-Systems directly. Thank you.